What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, this video was sponsored by Gun Pegboard. They make the uh, gun wall you see behind me. I reached out to them, they didn't reach out to me. I like their stuff and I reached out to them and they were kind enough to send some stuff over so I can do a video for you guys. So this is gonna be how to do a gun wall on a budget. This is one of the cheaper, best options I found. So. This video was sponsored by them, but I reached out to them just to get that out of the way. Before we get too far into this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know all of your comments down in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to consider getting subscribed to the channel. Try to do a lot of budget content because I myself am still doing a lot of budget stuff, not only just for YouTube, just testing out other budget content as well because I'm not made of money as probably you are since you're watching this. Uh, I have done a little bit of higher end stuff, but most of the time I try to stick towards the whole budget uh, area of things and this fits that area of the gun wall. So this is going to be a how to do a, a gun wall on a budget concept. And also they were kind enough to offer a discount code. You can get 10% off of everything on their website if you use Josh Wiley 10. Also, if you're interested in other discount codes, if you hit over to my website, the link is down in the description that you can go over to, I have a discount code page on my website where it features a few uh, discount codes for a couple of different companies that I work with that if you use that code, you get a discount and it also helps out the channel as well. So be sure to click that link below to help you out and help me out. Now let's get on to the video. We're gonna talk about everything I got, a little bit about it, and then how it all works and how you install it and everything. Now for this setup, I did get a pack of, it's a two pack. You can get a two pack and you can get singles. I actually got two two packs and one single of the metal gun wall uh, panel itself. You can get these, the pair of two for $54.97. I can't remember off the top of my head how much the single is, but the pair of the black ones, as you see here, is $54.97 and you can get a bunch of different uh, coatings and stuff like that, uh, pairs and singles. So it's really, really affordable, especially if you're doing something like I've got here, you're not doing like a whole entire wall. If you're doing something small like this, especially since you're probably on a budget doing this, uh, this is a really, really good option. Now these particular panels, I've actually got five here. I got two, two sets and then a single and the panels itself, and this one that I got is actually 16 inches long and 32 inches tall. Each panel comes with tell, uh, each panel comes with 12 screws, and it comes with 12 uh, drywall anchors. I will go over that in just a second, and what I actually did and what I recommend. These panels are 20 gauge steel and they are powder coated black. As I said before, you can get different colors of the panels. I think they have a, a couple of different like logos that you can get powder coated on and everything. And they do do vertical panels and then they do horizontal panels. Pretty much anything you want, they will be able to offer you. So we'll go over the install and everything in just a second. We're just going over all of the, what I actually got and what I'm showing. That's all with the panels. Now let's go with some of the accessories that I got. In. Now I did get U-shaped hooks, which is what I'm using here to mount everything. I, you can get those in a two pack as well, I believe. These particular ones that I got have a three inch reach. You can get a bunch of different other hooks. Uh, but these black three inch reach hooks that I got in a pair, you can get for $5.97. And they do offer a bunch of different hooks and mounts to mount whatever you're thinking about. And they do offer them in a wide variety of different colors as well. Something else I got was a gun magazine storage rack. You can as well get these in a few different colors. I opted to get pretty much everything I've got here black. And you can get this particular gun mag rack for $19.97. We'll go over the install in a second, but with this particular rack that they offer, I think it's only one particular magazine rack that they offer, but you can get in different colors, but it does uh, hold seven different magazines. Now, the last thing I got from them was a metal gun rack shelf. I actually got three of them. 
and I got three and then I got one magazine rack so I wanted everything to be like symmetrical I didn't want anything to be off like we're gonna go over that in a second I did get three shelves and one magazine rack I found out something cool as I was installing this so a little bit about the shelves the particular ones that I got were six inches deep you can get a uh, a few different varieties of how deep you want the shelf. I believe all of them are 12 inches wide, uh, but you can get different uh, uh, depths of them. I think you can get like three, six, and nine, and maybe 12 possibly. I went with six because I didn't want it too far out because it's actually over my table and I'm putting some of my tools and uh, cleaning supplies up there. So I didn't want it to be too far out. But no matter what you want, you, you do have a wide variety of what you've got going on here. And also that they offer these as well in a bunch of different colors. And the shelves are actually 14 gauge steel and you can get one, I don't think you can get a pair of them, you can get a single shelf for $18.97. Now that is everything that I actually got. Now let's go over how I installed everything. So to install this, you'll need a drill motor and you'll need a 1 8 drill bit and then you'll need a screwdriver bit. Uh, and also with the screwdriver bit, the screws are a little bit big. I think it's a, a number 12 maybe, but you'll need a one of the fatter screw bit, uh, Phillips head screw bits for this. If you use a smaller one, it's going to want to spin. I already went through all of that. Uh, it's a mess and you're gonna, if you've got stuff on the wall like I do already, you're gonna knock stuff off the wall and everything. Uh, so if you've got one of the fatter bits, it'll fit better in the screws that they provide. So once you figure out where you want your panels to be, depend, you'll wanna figure out where you want them, how many panels you want, where you want them on the wall. I opted to mount it straight to the studs in the wall. As I said, they do offer the uh, sheetrock anchors, so you don't technically have to anchor it straight to studs. You can't put it in the sheetrock, but I wanted to put it in the studs just for you know more security, so I don't have to worry about anything falling off the wall at any point like that. Uh, so it is available if you wanted or had to put them straight through sheetrock, you can do that. I didn't here. And the reason I got two uh, pairs of the panel and then a separate single is because originally I got two, two pairs from them, mounted it to the studs and then found out with the studs in the wall that they were off center in the wall how I wanted them. And then I found out that I could get just a single panel from them and mount it to the stud so it would be even with the wall, everything symmetrical how I want to do it. So just be sure if you've got a stud finder uh, to figure out where your studs are on the wall if that is what you wanted to do. If you want to mount them on the studs to try and center it the best you can, be sure and think about that before you place your order with them. So what you'll do is you'll figure out how many panels you've got, where they're actually getting mounted, if they're on studs, you'll want to figure out where your first one's going to be or your middle one's going to be, whatever you want to do. And then you'll want to figure out what the studs are and then you're going to want to use a level on top, which is what I did. And then figure out where the center one or the first one wants to go. Be sure to pre-drill your holes with a 1 8 inch drill and then screw the six different screws for each individual panel in place and get it how you want it. And now that you've done that, your panels are up. Now with the hooks. Gun peg board has a really easy, simple uh, slot in holder that they've got with their hooks. All you have to do is just kind of incline it and pop the pegs on the hooks in and it's good to go. Really, really simple. They've got a bunch of different uh, slots in there so you can put your hooks wherever you want them to go. With the mag holder, it's got two different uh, thin pieces that actually mount into the uh, panel boards. You'll have to figure out where you want it and then pop the one in the bottom and then figure out where the one in the top has to go. Pop that in place and then your mag holder panel will actually just sit on top of that. It's really, really simple. 
with the shelves, they actually come in three pieces. You actually have the shelf itself and then two arms that stick out like this for the shelf to sit on. And with the uh, arms that stick out for the shelf, they will pop in just like the hooks. You figure out where they, where you want them to go for the shelf. They have a bunch of different slots in the shelf. So if you want it thinner or wider, you have that option, which is really, really nice. You just pop the arms in and then sit your shelf on top of it. What I mentioned earlier with the uh, mag holder, I wanted everything symmetrical. So what I ended up doing was put the uh, mag holder in the center how I wanted it and then put a shelf on each side. And then with the mag holder, it's actually got slots in the end of it. So you can actually put your uh, arms for your shelf in the front of the mag holder and then put your shelf on top of that. So my center shelf actually sticks out a little bit further than my other two shelves on the side. I don't mind that that much. It's a really, really cool option, so everything's still symmetrical and it looks really nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a little bit of B-roll coming after this if I didn't put everything at the beginning of it. And uh, I really, really enjoyed all of this stuff. I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time and I thought it would be kind of expensive. I finally found this company and reached out to them and they sent some of the stuff in uh, for me to show to you guys. And I really appreciate those guys. Be sure to check them out on Gun Pegboard. Uh, like I said, the discount codes are in the description below. Be sure to check them out. Be sure to check out all of my other videos. Like I said, be sure to uh, give this video a like if you like this video. Be sure to give me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to consider getting subscribed to the channel. Be sure to get down in the description. Uh, there is the discount codes and I do do a little bit of machining work. I've talked about that in other videos. That link is down in the description below. I think that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.